Being able to climb feels second nature. It's an intuitive movement and people will naturally expect that they can clamber up certain objects and surfaces in your experiences. In this video, we'll be looking at how to achieve exactly that by using components to make objects in the game maker climbable. This is incredibly simple, but sometimes the simplest tools are the most powerful. Having a climbable object not only allows players access to a greater portion of your experience, but it also means you can maximize the use of your land. Aside from that, climbing is fun and it adds a satisfying activity that encourages discovery and exploration and it's perfect for creating platformers and parkour based experiences. To use this component, first you need to choose the asset you want to make climbable. In this case, we'll be using a ladder. It's important to know that this component works best when the object has a vertical flat climbing surface. Once your object is in the scene, you can click the object and navigate to the components tab. Click add component and then select the climbable component. You don't have many variables to play with here, but you can change the climb speed multiplier by dragging the slider left and right. So choose a speed that fits your needs and there you go, you're done. Simple as that but there are a few extra tips to help make the most of this tool. Perhaps your asset isn't quite the right height. In this case, we'll need more than one ladder. Duplicate the object you already applied the component to by selecting it and hitting Ctrl D. This creates another copy of the object with the component already added to it. Then all you need to do is move it into place. A quick tip here is to use the shift key to snap the object to the grid, which is a really quick and easy way to help align the new object with the existing object. You can see here, there are now two ladders stacked on top of each other to create a longer ladder, and it's really easy to climb up from one to the other. Still not long enough? No problem. You can then shift select your two ladders and duplicate those. Now just stack them on top as well, and you've got an even longer ladder. Still not long enough, well, you can repeat these steps and keep stacking until you achieve the desired outcome. It's also important to know that you can even jump from one climbable component to another. If you place them close enough together so they can be leapt to and from, then you can make getting to a higher location a dynamic and challenging feat. But it's not just ladders you can use. If it's an object, then you can try adding the climbable component to it. Of course, some objects may work better than others depending on how you want to use them, but you could, for example, add it to a column, vines, rocks, statues, trees, fences, or poles. That's it for this video. Now you know how to use the climbable component, give it a go and see how you can implement it in your experience. We look forward to seeing the results, so please reach out and share them on Discord or Twitter. Happy climbing, and we'll see you in the metaverse.